nicer. Where's that tape? <sighs> Told you. Oh, he just shit everywhere. Oh, dude. Measure that. It's 19. In 19 inches. Oh yeah. He's almost 20. Limit out. What's up guys? Good morning. Whew. So tired. I think my head hit the pillow and I just died. Instantly. But um, about to cut up this striped bass. I think I'm gonna do something different. I think I'm gonna just gut it and um, scale it and just grill it whole with the head on it and everything. I haven't really done that in a really long time. And striper on the grill. Man, so good. But um, yeah, I just kept one. I gave one to my buddy because he couldn't catch a keeper. It was really hard. It was them fish. They're all so close to being keepers, but uh, yeah. So let's get to it. All right. So this is a uh, Chesa Chesapeake Bay slot size striped bass. It's, a, it's the summer season. We're allowed to keep uh, stripers from 19 inches to 28 inches, and you're allowed one over 28 inches. It's a two fish limit. I got my limit. One, this one is uh, was about 20 inches. My other one was about 19. Barely made 19. Um, it's pretty common. There's tons of these fish in the bay this year. Um, it's good, pretty good fishing. You use you chum with bunker, and they're all over the place, and they're stacked up in that bay. But yeah, let's um, I'm gonna scale them first, and then we'll gut them. Now, I did bleed this fish out. I did rip his gills. Pretty much any fish I'm going to keep, I bleed them out now. It just makes it so much easier when you clean them. There's not blood coming out of the fillet. Just way better. This little thing is awesome. Right. 
All right. Nice and clean in there. I can stuff it full of herbs and stuff for now. Put this here. Put it back on ice for dinner time. All right, guys, there's our bass. This is everything I'm going to use. Uh, lemon, uh, butter, minced garlic, and salt, and pepper and salt. And I'm going to grill them up whole. So let's get it ready. Put some oil on it on both sides. Actually, let me slice them up first. Just want to score them. Not crazy deep. cook stuff like that cut this one off too all All right, first thing, heavy salt and pepper. When cooking a whole fish, you can go pretty heavy. Salt and pepper. I'm gonna take some a bit of garlic. Just mix that around. Not a lot. Some inside there, of course. Down in there. Then put a little bit of oil. Put both sides. Go in there. Help them get nice and crispy. Just a tiny bit on this side. All right, let's went out and picked some fresh herbs. We got thyme. Basil, oregano, and a bay leaf. I'm gonna rinse off. Alright, we got my fresh herbs cleaned up. So let's just stuff them in there. Garlic, herbs, all that stuff. And I got some lemon. Probably up in the head there. Another one. Another one. One down there. See you right there. Perfect, got one lemon right there. Oh yeah guys, check that out. 
gonna be a Hey right, guys, I forgot my little mini peppers I picked from my little basket. Let's put them in there. These things are spicy, dude. Put one on top. Now we gotta wrap them up. There we go, nicely sealed up. Wow, guys. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh my god. Are you serious? My mouth is like water. So good. You can just smell the herbs, the lemon, the butter. The skin is delicious. Like, look at this meat. Striper is so good, man. There's nothing really like it. I never cooked one like this. First time doing it. Wow. I'm gonna eat this whole fish. Like easily. I mean the eyeballs, the cheeks. Like, look at that meat. Wow, it's cooked perfect too. Oh man, rib meat. It comes right off the bone. Oh my God. If you catch a slot striper, cook it like this. I mean, I, I would obviously not gonna do it. I would never do a 20 pounder with this or anything. I'd probably let a 20 pounder go. But these little slots, man, there's tons of them. In the, in the Chesapeake Bay, at least. They're open season right now, so. Told you guys, I was gonna eat that whole damn fish. Tore that up. Banging. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, man. Um, striper, I love it. They're delicious. If you guys never had striper, it's one of the best tasted fish. I, was, I grew up on striper. Pops was, probably, was like my main fish we used to go catch as, as kids and still to this day. But um, uh, also let me know if you guys like this format when I do, if I do a video just to straight catching and then I do a whole separate video of how I cook it, catch it, and I'll show the catch and then cook it real, just so the videos aren't so long. It's really hard for me to make a video under 20 minutes. I don't know why. It's really, that's, it's really hard. Every video comes out to be like 20 minutes. I don't want to make it too long with the cook stuff cooking stuff but uh let me know if you like it better this way if you rather or if you rather me just make it all one a little bit longer video uh just let me know in the comments below um thank you for watching 
like in, comment in, all that cool stuff. I really appreciate it. Let's keep the channel growing. I'm going to keep fishing hard all summer. We still got some good fishing ahead of us. Thank you guys. Catch you on the next one.